Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my Project 5 Uses Project Pan. The goal of this project is for me to constantly be rolling in all of my new items, testing them out for the five uses and see whether or not I want to keep them or declutter them, if they're a good fit for my collection or not. Because in the past, I would let all of my new makeup just sit in the, oh, the shame bin. And I say that with the most loving heart of, oh, the shame that I haven't used you yet. Not that I'm shamed for buying them. So I thought I wanted to use those products more. So here I am to give you my update. Let's see, yeah, I updated this last month. So I'm gonna let you know where I'm standing with the 10 items that I have in this project. Okay, so the first item I have in is this MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. And mine is in the shade NW20. I got it matched at the MAC store when I was in Vegas, and I am really loving this product. I am not usually a um, full coverage girl, and this is a full coverage product. They say that you can use it as a concealer, that you can use it as a foundation, whatever. There's a little window there. I truly love this and it is full coverage. So I don't, I don't know who I am, but I really like it. And so far, as of last month, I only had used this one time. I've used it two more times for a total of three. So it's sticking around for a couple of more uses. I'm not mad at it and I really will enjoy using it. I primarily wear it when I film because I don't normally need a full coverage foundation, but I like to wear a more fuller coverage when I film. Rosie's going nuts out there. She's rolling all over the place and making funny noises. Okay, next up I have my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. I really love this product. This is one of my new favorite foundations. I've only used it twice and I still can be like, I love this. The first time I used this, I thought, Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It really is weightless. It looks great on my skin. The color is wonderful. I have the shade Ivory, and this was a Deb made me buy it because she was buying all the porcelain cover colors. I think it was porcelain at the CCO in Vegas, and I was like, but I want one. So she was willing to give me one, but it turned out we don't wear the same color. So she got lucky and got to keep all the ones she grabbed, and I got Ivory. So I have to wear it three more times, and I'm not mad at that either. Then I brought in my Play Sweep the Cheek. This is a Cobra Kai um, collab. This is a highlighter, On the Glow highlighter. This is beautiful. I really enjoy this. It is super pretty. There it is right there. And this is, it's a stick. And I really didn't think I would like this color, but it turns out that it is just a lovely shimmer on my cheeks. I don't, I'm like, I'm wearing it today. Well, I have another product over it, but I am wearing it today and I didn't feel like it was cakey. I didn't feel like it left like a streak of color. I really enjoyed it. I've used it so far four times. I have one more time to go before I put that baby away. The Kosas powder was the next thing I brought in. I had bought this and I had heard Kosas goes off quickly, so I wanted to use it before it went bad. I don't smell anything bad. I enjoy this powder very much. I've been wearing it under my eyes. I've used it three times so far and I'm really enjoying it. I do feel like it Um what happened? I guess I'm going to have to be very careful. Did this happen to anybody else? Um, anyway, I traditionally have a hard time with powders because they say they're translucent and then they show up a funky color on me, but this is in the shade Breezy. It's the Cloud Set Powder and it does work. I can't believe that just happened. I have to use it two more times and I will. I didn't even drop this. What happened? Anyway, two more times. Maybe I should put that in another container and like break it up. I don't know. We'll see how it works when I use it for the next time. And then, um, okay, 
Then I have the NYX Jumbo Stick. This is an eye pencil in the shade Donut. I love this. This is so pretty. I used this when I used my Menagerie Fight Flight Club palette. I put this down first. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. I put this down first as a base and then I put other purples over it and it was flipping gorgeous. So I used it two times the same way each time and um, I have to use it three more and I will absolutely enjoy all of it. Then I brought in my Say Dewy Blush in the shade Rosy. I love this shade on me. I think it's gorgeous. I've already used it three times. It was not a problem at all. I need to use it two more and then it'll roll out. There it is there and it's just beautiful like sheared out. It's beautiful just the way it looks like that. I, I truly am loving it. So I am not going to be upset at all for, um, you know, the two more times I have to use it. Then I brought in, okay, this is like, I'm kind of sad about this, but this is a notoriously morbid um, multi-chrome flake shadow. And I'm hoping I can kind of Okay, see it there? It's beautiful. It reminds me of Christmas. And I really enjoy it, but I'm going to declutter it because these flakes, first of all, they one of them got in my eye and it really bothered me. And I don't want that to happen again. So I'm going to declutter these. And with the caveat to whoever gets them that they need to be really careful about them getting in their eyes because I don't want anybody else to have an issue the way I did. Um, and I don't want them to hurt themselves. Part of me kind of was like, I wanna throw them out, but I kind of feel guilty about that. I don't know, but then I don't want anybody to hurt their eyes either. What would you do? Would you just throw it out or would you like pass it on and see if some, cause like I'd pa probably pass it on to teenagers and I don't want them to hurt their eyes. So anyway, this one is being decluttered. I've used it three times and each time it did that and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not messing around. So um, I'm going to declutter that one. Then I pulled in my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Maui. This is so pretty. It really does have a really nice lumina luminous sheen to it. Let me see if I can get a good swatch for you. It, it's like definitely a Kim color. I love it, love it, love it. There it is right there. It's super pretty and I really am enjoying wearing it. So far I have worn it three times and I, I really do like it and I will continue to wear it and be happy. I have two more times for it in this project. Um, and then I have two more products left. The first is this MAC Le Artiste eyeshadow. This was gifted to me in my birthday box from Jen. It's a really pretty like taupey gray color. I used it once I really like the way it looks on my finger. I like the way it looks here, but when I put it on my eyes, it just didn't do anything for me. I mean, it's beautiful, but it didn't really look great the one time I used it. So I'm gonna try to use it again. I think Jen said the same thing. She's like, it just didn't work for her. So I'm wondering if it was kind of like the same deal. So I'm gonna try it again and see what I think, but I'm so far I'm like mm, not exactly like thrilled. And then last but not least, I had in the um, Benefit Sugar Bomb Blush. This is an, a weird product in the sense that like it has all these four colors that come together and produce such a pretty shade. Part of me is like, why didn't you just like combine them all into one color? But it's a really pretty like peachy color and I am enjoying wearing it. Um, I have worn this three times so far, so I have one more to go before I can roll that out of the project. So because I have decluttered one, which means one product is leaving this project, I can bring one more product in. And I decided to bring in my NYX Jumbo Stick. This is a multi-use face stick, which I've never seen this before. I think it's new. I did buy this in Vegas, but this is in the shade Oh, and it twists up instead of having to sharpen it. This is in the shade Blueberry Muffin. Now, first of all, I think they should have called the donut shade. I think they should have called this Blueberry Muffin and not this one. But whatever, I don't work for NYX. There's a probably pretty darn good reason I don't. But here is the shade Blueberry Muffin. Like, look at that shift. Bright pink purpley blue gorgeousness. 
So I'm excited to try this both on my face and my eyes and see like what I think. And um, yeah, I'll report back to you. So I have that in the mix to use, of course, the five times. So that is my update for the Project 5 Uses Project Pan. Thank you so much for spending part of your, ta your time with me, your day with me or night. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.